in Rockefeller Plaza right now. I am about to go upstairs in this building to a hair salon to do my second bridal hair trial appointment. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this. I have some inspiration photos ready to go. It is Friday morning, so I'm doing this early before work starts. And then I'll probably just go to a coffee shop afterwards somewhere around here uptown just to finish up doing some work for the day. But yeah, as you can see, it's just a rain, rainy January day, but I'm gonna make the most of it. So let's have a little fun uptown New York day. Up. I have exactly five minutes to do this, so let's hope I can do it. I'm just touching up my makeup. Okay. So, <laughs> my hair appointment was good. It took a couple tries. We tried something. I showed her a bunch of different pictures. Not a bunch, like three different pictures, and they were all slightly different. And we tried them all. And finally, as we were doing it, I was like, okay, I know exactly what I want because trying different things that I didn't like made me realize what I didn't want. So like as she's doing my hair, all of a sudden I was like, wait, I know exactly what I want to do. Then I told her and then she did it and then I was so happy and I could tell that she was happy too that we found out something that I really, really liked. And then we were like talking about the wedding and you know, how nice of a day it's going to be and everything like that. So yeah, I'm glad that I narrowed it down because you know, sometimes we look at these images on Pinterest and until we actually try it out on ourselves then we realize what works and what doesn't work. And with my hair specifically, it is very difficult hair to work with because it's thin, it's fine, now it's short. <laughs> it's just, I'm not making it very easy to achieve the styles. So uh, yeah, I really like her. She's really nice, very calm too. Like. <laughs> Happy to have her in the room, you know, on the morning of my wedding. Yeah, so then after that, I just went to the coffee shop, did a little bit of work. I had to get some things out by a certain amount of time. And then I popped into a shop or two, came home, finished up work for the day, and now we're here. So I'm getting ready right now. So it is actually Lyle's birthday on Sunday. So this weekend, we're doing things like you know, all for Lyle's birthday. So tonight, what I'm getting ready for right now is we're going to a comedy show. So this is going to be at a theater on the Upper West Side. I've been to one other time before. I remember it being really nice. And yeah, Lyle loves comedy, so excited to go and do that. But I'm just touching up my makeup real quick because I did it at like 8 a.m. this morning and now it's 5.59. I have one minute left. <laughs> But anyways, that's the plan. I'm gonna go to a comedy show. And oh, we're gonna have dinner first at a place nearby. And uh, just have a nice night. And I'm wearing my Another Story sweater that I showed you guys last weekend. I love it just as much as I thought that I would. I wore it all day today to my appointment. It's so comfy and what's funny is one of the stores that I popped into after the coffee shop was Zara. And there were so many cute sweaters that I liked but I was just feeling the materials and I was like, this, it's just gonna be itchy and I know I'm not gonna reach for it because it's itchy. Like it's cute and I really want it but I know I'm not gonna wear it because it itches so I'm just not gonna get it. But this one is so soft, so comfortable. Someone actually messaged me today and said that they had a pink version of it. I was like yeah that's actually what drew me to it because I had a pink one 
of this from Urban Outfitters from like a couple of years ago. Well, more than a couple of years ago, like at least five or six years ago. So it's definitely not on sale anymore, but it's been one of the most worn items in my closet. So anyways, that's the deal. But I'm gonna go because I have to run out the door. morning my favorite favorite day of the week and we just woke up I have no makeup on um, slept in pretty late this morning so that was nice but now we need to get breakfast so we're walking to this place called Supermoon Bakehouse they make really cool croissants and other just pastries that are really delicious and really pretty at the same time it's in the Lower East Side we are just walking there and we're gonna get some pastries for breakfast Up and just got dressed for the day um, let's do some unboxings so I got a package in the mail this morning from UPS it is from Revolve I think I know what this is I think it's a bridal robe that I ordered robe bridal robe meaning the robe plan to wear for the morning that I'm getting ready for my wedding day so I've been doing so much research on this and I've seen so many pretty ones that exist. I keep coming back to this brand called Homebody with two eyes at the end and they have so many gorgeous ones. There was one that I already ordered that um, they sell on Anthropology. they also sell on Revolve and a bunch of other places. I've seen them on Bloomingdale's and stuff like that. I already ordered one that was all lace, the whole thing. It was really gorgeous in the pictures, but in person I wasn't that obsessed with it, so I sent it back. This is second, like trial number two of one that I found online. This one does look very pretty, so it's long. This one's like, yeah, it's floor length. It's a, kind of a sheer material with some lace at the end so this is at the end of the sleeves and then it has it on either side going all the way down to the floor and then at the very bottom it's lacy again so this is very bridal um very very pretty and gorgeous i obviously will need to find since this is sheer a little short little dress to wear underneath it I feel like I can find a short little white slip dress anywhere, so I will find something like that, but the main thing I need to find is the robe because I'm probably going to have our photography, our photographer there, like our videographer just to like get some shots as we're getting ready and everything, so <laughs> 
yeah i i mean i don't know what to throw on with this you know what i am just wearing a little tank top and then i'm wearing some pants so let me just try it with that because i feel like even though i don't have the little white slip dress right now i can at least get some sort of a feeling of if i like it or not wow i wonder my wonder is it is it a little old ladyish, or is it just elegant and beautiful Got this in the back. Is this supposed to? Yes, this is supposed to go through here. And the one on this side. Okay, this is pretty. I mean, it's not gonna be like this with the tank top underneath, because this is just honestly like for me just to keep warm under my sweaters. It's like basically like a thermal layer. But this is very pretty. It's definitely very bridal. Okay. So what do we think, guys? Let me know. I think that it is pretty. I just, like, I don't know. Is it everything that I hoped for and more? It's a little staticky right now. So whenever I'm truly looking at an outfit, I have to come over to this full-length mirror, <laughs> ignore my uh, fuzzy socks and the white and the <laughs> fuzzy slippers. But I do feel very bridal in this. It is very pretty. It's not like the most important outfit of the day, obviously. I'm just going to be in our little getting ready room, not little, <laughs> big getting ready room, and just hanging out with the bridesmaids and the moms and, you know, all of our hair and makeup people. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I always appreciate your opinions on everything because even if I don't reply to them, I read them all and I appreciate them all. So yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Be nice, of course, <laughs> but but still tell me your honest opinion. Or if you know a place to get a really nice bridal getting ready robe, let me know. I think I might think on it for a little bit before I send it back, but it definitely is a good contender. I like it better than the one that I got prior. So that is that. I will leave it linked in the description box in case anyone else is getting married and wants to wear something like that or if you just want like a nice luxurious robe for at home. So I do have a whole other bridal haul that we're going to jump to now. I was too excited to wait to open these things so I opened them on I think it was Thursday. It was just a couple of days ago so we're just going to go back in time a little bit and do a rest of a bridal haul. Hello guys, so I have some packages to unbox. These are all bridal things, so these are really exciting. I actually just earlier today, I like got a text message and it was some really exciting news. And then I checked my email and it said that my packages were delivered. And I was just like, oh, instant best mood ever. Just like on cloud nine right now. So the first one is from Six Stories and they carry a lot of bridal things. So what I got was a pair of shorts. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so this is gonna be for my bachelorette is what I was thinking. I think I might wear these on the plane with a sweatshirt that I have that is very similar. So this is the sweatshirt. It says, she's a classic on the front and then marriage material on the back. This is definitely like a bachelorette outfit. And I think this is gonna be my travel outfit on the plane. So I don't know if I've talked about my bachelorette yet on YouTube, <laughs> my YouTube channel, or anywhere really on any of my socials, but I'm going to be going to Miami with my bridesmaids plus some other additional friends. Um, and I just cannot wait. I just wanted to go to a place that was warm and tropical, but not too far and that no one would have to feel like they're paying a ton to go super far. So yeah, we're just going there. And I just wanted to make sure that these match. The white is a little bit different. You can kind of tell on camera. This is more of like a blue white. This is more of a yellow white. It doesn't bother me too, too much though. It's not like super noticeable. It is a little bit annoying. So the shorts say bride right here, which I feel like is really cute. If I don't end up wearing these two together, then I might just keep these shorts and wear them to bed as like a pajama short. And since they're white and the bride is really subtle, I feel like I could just keep these for like, just to wear to bed in the future. But yeah, so 
That's really cute. Next thing I did get, this is from Amazon. This I unboxed yesterday, but it is a pearl headband and it's actually pretty good quality. I was worried about it being painful in my head because some headbands can kind of just be like that right behind here around the ears. I don't think I'm gonna wear it with this outfit, but I do think that it would be cute to wear to like maybe the pool one day with my little swimsuit. I believe this might be my swimsuit, so let's try that on. This is an order from Bloomingdale's. Oh, this is so fun. This is my first like bridal haul. I really hadn't gotten anything besides this sweatshirt. It is the bathing suit. Okay, so it's from Jonathan Simkai. I had seen this last year in Booming Nails, but they didn't have my size in stock, which is a medium. At least I hope. I don't know. We'll try this on. I don't remember. It's been like, it's actually, it's been over a year. <laughs> Anyways, it's really cute. So it's a white one piece. It does have uh, a little bit of an underwire here. And then what I really loved about it was the belt. So it has this cute little belt that goes around. Here is the bathing suit tried on. I do have my underwear on <laughs> underneath this because I am just trying it on and you know that's how you're supposed to do it. But anyways, I do think that this is really, really super cute. I love the belt and it seems to fit well in the top and in the back. I think it's really nice and here's with the headbands too. I think this is actually a really cute look. Okay, and then this last package, honestly, I didn't know what this was because it's just in like a regular brown box. And then I was just reading the return and it says net a porter. So I think this actually might be a pair of shoes. Their shipping is so fast. I just ordered these yesterday and they're already here. I, it was literally yesterday, I think. Crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to show you what I'm seeing. So I was just opening this up and I just love their packaging. So these are from Loeffler Randall and it just has the Netta Porter bow on it. Tissue paper. Bum ba da bum. So these are the shoes. Okay, so you might be wondering why did I order a pair of ballet flats? Well, the reason is because I'm thinking that for my actual wedding day, after the ceremony is over, all the pictures, the dinner, like all the important like more traditional things are over and it's just the end of the night we're just dancing i'm probably not going to want to be in heels anymore and i'm probably going to want to transition to a flat because it is my wedding day every single element of it i just want to be special so i found these satin ballet flats from lafleur randall i actually first noticed them in the store because they have a store right like so close to here <laughs> And I saw them there, but they were completely sold out in like basically every single size, except for size 11. I'm a size US 9. And then I was just searching the internet and I found them on Netta Porter. And so I thought, oh my gosh, I need to order these right now before they go out of stock again. So I ordered them and I already own so many pairs of shoes from Loeffler Randall. Yeah, this is like my fifth or sixth thing. And so I know they're going to fit, I know they're going to be comfy, I know they're going to be good. And this is like everything, so many things in my closet are neutrals and they will go with these. So if I want to wear them after the wedding, I'm sure that I still will. It's really the heels that are going to be the most special to me um, that I probably won't like really wear again, except for special occasions such as like our anniversary or something like that. Um, but yeah, but these are just the flats for more of the dancing. So let's try them on real quick. Oh, so pretty. Look at that shine. I was going to say that they felt a little bit big, but now that I'm standing up, they don't feel as big. So yeah, these are just cute little satin ballet flats. And oh my gosh, I can't believe that I'm going to be wearing these on my wedding day. So yeah, yeah, I obviously have so many other things to come in terms of bachelorette outfits, like rehearsal dinner, 
like my veil and my shoes for my wedding day, other bachelorette outfits, honeymoon outfits. There's just so many other fun things that I get to like buy. <laughs> like I have an excuse to, to get. Oh, so I'm so excited. So anyways, that was my little bridal haul. Hello again. So we're back in present real time. I'm walking around Nolita heading into Soho. I have a little bit of kind of a surprise to tell you guys about. Well, not like it's something that we're doing tonight. So I think I mentioned earlier in the vlog that it is Lyle's birthday weekend and Lyle loves comedy. He is obsessed with SNL and I by the grace of God, I don't know how, was able to get us tickets tonight for SNL. And I, like when I told Lyle this morning, he was so happy and he's been so happy all day. So I'm just like so, so grateful to the person who got us these tickets. I cannot even express how grateful I am because of this. Um, it's like literally I think one of the biggest things to Lyle would be seeing us at all so I am just I'm so happy to see him happy um, and I'm so glad that we got to do this on the weekend that it is his birthday because his birthday is tomorrow Sunday so yeah it's just so great to see him so happy and um, I'm excited to go tonight and to see experience him experiencing it so we actually technically we're going to the rehearsal which is like right before the show um, but I was like that is just as good like this he's just so happy so anyways um, we're not leaving for that until later but right now I'm just walking around just on a Saturday just doing some shopping I was gonna pop into some stores and See if I find anything good, see what's new in the neighborhood. <laughs> little walk around Soho and Nolita and then Lyle ended up meeting me for coffee at St. Ambrose Gelateria and then we just did walked around a little bit more and then we got pizza for an early dinner at Champion Pizza on Lafayette Street <clears throat> and then we just came back here and I got changed so we are the one that we're going to is the rehearsal so you know it's not like it's the live taping of it but I just read online like what should you wear to SNL and it was like just wear dark colors nothing like loud patterns anything like that so <laughs> I just found like the only black things that I own in my closet and put them on I happen to still own this cardigan from college I had it actually one of my friends in college picked it out for me. I remember specifically when we were shopping together like at like a mall <laughs> near our college. Um, I do have this black A-line skirt and then these are my only black tights that I own right now are these polka dot ones. 
I really need to get on that and buy a pair of black tights. They just always, always rip. But, you know, whatever. And then under underneath this sweater, I just have a white tank top on. And then I threw my hair up. And then I'm just throwing my stuff in my bag. These are the shoes I'm going to wear. If I had a pair of, like, black boots, that would be perfect for this. But I actually don't own any because I never wear <laughs> black things or black tights. So only thing I own are these Corel shoes that are black so i'm just gonna put those on and then throw on my coat and head out the door so i am gonna have to say goodbye now i'll obviously pick the vlog up after but there is no way i can bring a camera into this place um so i'm gonna have to leave it here and i'm gonna have to be turning my phone off even when we go in there because you cannot film or take pictures or do anything at all so uh, i wish that wasn't the case but unfortunately it is the case so i'm gonna have to you know this is really probably all that you'll see maybe i'll shoot a clip of just like going uptown or something but yeah, but I will see you guys tomorrow morning and I'll let you know how it was. the next day now it is Sunday today is Lyle's actual birthday um, so yeah just trying to do stuff for him today and we're going out to dinner later tonight so that'll be nice right now I was just getting ready for the day doing my makeup and I thought I would just turn the camera on now because I was about to put my foundation on and I've gotten a couple questions about the foundation that I've been using lately and so it is the Dior forever foundation and this is a transfer proof 24 hour foundation high perfection con concentrated floral skincare with sunscreen it has spf 15 in it and my shade is 1cr yeah i will leave this linked but basically i've been trying it out because i like to put it on a brush so that i don't have to get it on my skin and then wash my hands immediately after um, because it's a po supposedly a very good wedding foundation and then I was kind of just like wait a minute I like this for every day because it is more of like a it's natural but it's coverage and like it's natural looking but it's coverage but it's still a little bit glowy where you need it to be but it's not glowy in that on camera you know on your wedding day when there's a flash of the camera that you're gonna look sweaty or like too glowy it's just like the perfect foundation and when i'm wearing it i never feel like i have a ton of foundation on because i used to be someone who was a never wear foundation person i just did a little bit of concealer and then my blush and my bronzer and my highlighter but since i got this every day that i felt like i want to do my makeup i turned to it we're in completely just like this is a window right here so this is like true daylight lighting and you can just see that it's totally flawless and I'm actually in love with it but anyways we need to debrief, debrief on last night so last night was SNL that was like the coolest thing it was so New York like everything about it just felt so New York like the stage the sets the whole thing it was just the, like such a like special experience really to get to see that so I'm so so still so grateful that we got to so basically you can't have any cameras in there like you have to turn off your phone before you go up so when you get there you're kind of like in line for a little bit and then they bring you into the peacock lounge which is like Honestly, it's just like a seating area where they give you one free drink and you put like a wristband on. Obviously, you go through like a metal detector, all of that. And and then they have, I've been doing dry January, so I just drank a Sprite. They had some like sodas and waters on the table and then like a bathroom. 
and it was just kind of it's just like a waiting area really and you can take some pictures in there so like Lyle and I took a picture together and yeah uh, and then you like they have you you have like your tickets in a little envelope and they bring you up the elevators and then yeah they filter you into the studio itself we actually were sat it we're sat in like these yellow seats right in the center view so that was great that was cool um so there's like multiple there's sets there's like a stage right in front of you and then they're moving around all these sets on the right and the left um so like in between everything when the commercials are going and everything you can see all of like all the whole crew backstage just like moving around all of the sets and the props and the um like all of the backgrounds and things and you can see like the the there were so many celebrities and like the talent all like bickering with each other backstage so like jimmy fallon was there um dakota it was dakota johnson who was hosting it and then um justin timberlake was like the musical guest obviously like the whole snl cast they have like a band in the back that plays basically the whole time and like you know keeps the audience entertained yeah and th the cool thing about the dress rehearsal too is that it's a bit longer than the actual live show because they are testing out all the material so we got to see even more than was on the live show and it's also really fun and like kind of funny to see them do it for the first time because um, then we came home and like watched it uh, the actual live show on TV right after and we were like oh they cut this part out they cut that part out um, and it's just funny to see them do it again and I don't know it was really cool Dakota Johnson like she is so pretty and she did such a good job yeah it was just overall really cool so I'm so glad that we did that and Lyle seemed really happy which was obviously the goal of the entire thing um, so yeah I'm happy about that but this morning we are just going to go down and get a bagel because that is Lyle's favorite breakfast. I don't eat bagels, but generally where there's bagels there are muffins. <laughs> so I'll probably just get a muffin somewhere and yeah, just enjoy the day. I am wearing a very kind of casual outfit today. I'm wearing a t-shirt. My whole outfit is from Cezanne. Let me get up and show you <laughs> so i feel like this would be such a cute valentine's day outfit i might put this back on for valentine's day in a couple weeks but yeah it's that heart t-shirt that i showed you guys that i got and then these are the brute sexy jeans when i showed you these a couple weeks ago so this is my third pair of the of the brute sexy jeans so i wore the jeans in like this picture last weekend or the weekend before and then I also own them in white that I've also showed you guys a couple weeks before that, probably in like November or December. And then these are the ones that I've owned for like, oh, the longest. These are the pink ones. Um, so these are really cute. I love these pants. Um, and yeah, they're like a little light pink and with my Saison Saison t-shirt. So this is what I'm gonna wear today my hair up in a little clip just kind of casual new york saturday uh sunday weekend look i might just throw on some jewelry so i got these earrings from majuri in december i think december or january i don't remember um i feel like the older i'm getting the more my memory goes <laughs> anyways they're just like little gold um kind of huggies they're not hoops but they're just sort of like a little they're like a croissant shape almost in that they're kind of like looped back a little bit so anyways those are cute engagement ring of course and then my penhaligon's solaris fragrance that i am obsessed with so we're gonna go get some breakfast
we went to breakfast for Lyle. The place was called Pop-Up Bagels. It wasn't a pop-up or anything though. It's on, it's in like Greenwich Village and it was I guess named the best bagels in the whole tri-state area so it had a pretty long line but I think it was worth it. As I said I don't eat bagels but Lyle said that they were very good. I do know that as we were waiting for them we had to wait a little bit especially because they were still baking them so they're baking them fresh and then giving them right to you and then you get different like schmears I guess and um and yeah so so yeah we did that and then I they actually didn't have any muffins or anything there it was just bagels so I found another place kind of up the street on LaGuardia place and it was I think Milfoy or something was the name of it it was like a cute little uh, French pastries place and I got uh, almond Danish and some orange juice and then yeah we just walked back it is raining today and it's cold so it's just like I'm just like looking outside the window right now and it is just so freezing it is windy and rainy and cold it's just like the worst like just miserable kind of weather so I'm just not wanting to go back outside again until we go to dinner later tonight of course but until then I'm like I just want to stay inside and I've just kind of been racking my brain like what am I gonna do for my vlog like just truly like I when I vlog it is just whatever is going on in my life and sometimes I do kind of feel a little bit of pressure of like okay I need to do something interesting at least that's how I'm feeling right now when because I have nothing interesting to do but I did want to show you guys this sweatshirt that I got so it says no Lita on it and then it says New York or nowhere underneath so New York or nowhere is this they have an Instagram account and they have this store they've had a couple different stores but they seem to have one right now that's a little bit more permanent that's on Lafayette Street in Nolita and Nolita is obviously my neighborhood like Nolita is that's my home like that's where I spend all my time that's where all my videos like my entire YouTube channel is that's where my studio apartment it was on Mulberry Street between Prince and Spring it was like all like old and the molding and like the white and the the arch it just like that was like my little princess like studio apartment like Lolita thing and I love like the little cupcake bake shop and Prince Street Pizza and now we have Upside Pizza and La Florandel and just so many cute little things in Nolita like Majuri and I just love Nolita anyways and where I live now is technically right on the border of Nolita and the Lower East Side but I'm still like I'm here in Nolita because I am like really only a couple blocks from my old apartment um, that's why when I film now and I filmed then it's all the same neighborhood because <laughs> I live in the same place but anyways um, oh my gosh we have Cezanne and Olita we have Bash so anyways these are all of the streets so it's like Mott, Mulberry, Elizabeth, um, Broom and it's just all of them listed on here and obviously New York or nowhere um, <laughs> I do love other places in the world like you guys know that I love Europe <laughs> I love Paris and London and Italy and France and Spain and just I've been to so many places around the world but New York is my home it's my home base um, so when I saw this and the fact that it was like a cream color and kind of like a university style I have a sweatshirt very similar to this from my actual university that I went to and I wear it so much so I was like when I saw this I knew that I would wear it a lot they do have a website online the thing that I will say is that their clothing is unisex so <laughs> this is an extra small the small I tried on was too big and then I put this one on and 
Lyle plus the two other um, people who are working in the store were like, that one looks way better on you. Please get that one. <laughs> so I got this. So this is the extra small. And it's just so soft and cozy. Like, I put it on over my Saison t-shirt that I was wearing earlier. And, like, it's just perfect for a day like this where you're just like... It is miserable outside. I just want to wear my fuzzy sweatshirt, but I don't want to look too, like, too, too dressed down. I don't know, in terms of, like, an ugly hoodie, like, you know, your scruffy, like, whatever, you, you know. Although sometimes I do wear that stuff, too, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But anyways, this is my vibe for right now. But yeah, oh, so where we are going to dinner tonight, I feel like sometimes when I'm talking to you guys, just like I'm talking to a friend, um, where we're going to dinner tonight is called Bond Street. Bond Street is a street in NoHo. Um, it's very, very close. So I actually go there, like walk right there all the time because there's three different equinoxes in my radius. So the main one that I go to, because it was like, a, literally a block away from my last apartment is the Soho one. It's right on um, Prince. And then there is one on Bond Street, which I also go to a lot. And then there's one on Orchard Street that I go to definitely the least. But if there, if I can't, like I can book classes in time and there's something open in Orchard, I will go there. But this place where we're going is right next to the Bond Street Equinox that I go to. It's on Bond Street. I think Gigi Hadid has an apartment on Bond Street. It's like a cobblestone street. It's really nice. Every year for Lyle's birthday, we go to some nice restaurant. Like one year we went to a family meal at Blue Hill. One year we went to Daniel or Danielle. He says Danielle. I say Daniel. I'm not actually sure. But it's on the Upper East Side and it was like a really good meal. Um, we went to Carbone. We've been to a ton. Lyle knows a lot about New York restaurants and I just let him pick <laughs> and then I just go along. But yeah, it, this this place is like sushi. I, he was kind of describing it sort of like no who, no, <laughs> sort of like no boo, but like better, I guess. I don't know. There's certain things on the menu that are definitely like these are the go to. So uh, I'm actually really excited. I walked by this place so many times and I was always curious about it. So definitely need to pick out an outfit later and just kind of have a chill day in, I guess. It's so cold outside that I don't even want to go out to get my groceries today. <laughs> like, I'm like, can I please leave it to tomorrow? Because going out even for breakfast this morning just like ruined it for me for the rest of the day. I'm like, uh-uh, no more going outside. <laughs> I don't know. I might do some wedding planning stuff though. That'll actually be good to get done. I need to like respond back to my wedding invitations um there was i actually so if anyone's not following on instagram i'm in tiktok i'm doing a little series called becoming a bride and i'm basically showing you guys all the fun things that i'm doing to get ready for my wedding day so episode one was our food tasting episode two was our wedding invitations and then i've got episode three will be coming out this week if you're following on YouTube, it's probably stuff that you already know anyways. Um, but it's just cute to see it in a little, in a little um, package uh, over on Instagram or TikTok. So go check those out. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do some wedding planning. And then just, just try to stay as cozy as possible inside today. Cold January day. Okay guys, we're running out the door for dinner. I just wanted to show you, my, show you my outfit real quick. I've got these white trousers on from Lily Silk. This is a really old Zara top that I've had forever. And then my gold Majuri earrings. I just threw on my rouge shoes because these pants are so long they just need a little bit of a heel. And yeah, I feel like this outfit's really chic. And we're gonna enjoy dinner.
so it is the end of the vlog now we just got back from dinner it was so good honestly the food was amazing it's really cool in there too it's uh, a little bit of like a small kind of intimate setting they had like a little bar when you come in and then like this huge floral <laughs> arrangement and then yeah just some seats low lighting we had uh, like fish we had sushi we had like a dessert that was like a matcha cake and it was actually <laughs> seriously delicious we liked everything um, so yeah overall really great meal and nice way to end the weekend so with that I'm going to end the vlog here but make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss any future videos and follow the fashion squirrel as well over on Instagram especially for my new little series going on over there and hopefully I'll see you guys next time okay bye